Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're going to get creative with color in On One Photo Raw. Sometimes we get a scene that is beautiful, but the colors just didn't go the way that we wanted them to, or we need to bring them out and enrich them. We've got plenty of tools to do that in both develop and effects. I need to start with some basics on this photo. This photo is a little underexposed, so I'll work in the develop module and bring out the highlights, the shadows. Let's rain the highlights in while I'm speaking of highlights. There's some hot spots up in the sky there. I'm going to open up those shadows so we can see more of this rock face here and maybe pull down the mid-tone so we're not opening up that too much. We've got a nice, a nice feel and balance between the rich shadows and the highlights. Let's take a look at our white point as well. Pull that down a little bit. And I'm kind of watching the histogram as I do that to make sure I don't have too many spikes on the right-hand side. I do have where the sun is coming up. That's going to be hot and that's okay. Let's also take a look at haze. Let's, let's pull our haze slider down a little bit and recover some of the details off in those misty hills back there. That's a good baseline. Let's move into effects and start to add some style. And I'm gonna start straight away with dynamic contrast. I wanna punch up these rocks. Now this is too much for the scene overall. I want the rocks, the shadowy areas to get that pop and very little in the highlights. And a great way to manage that is with a luminosity mask. So open up the masking area and by default, luminosity mask will mask away from shadowy areas and leave an effect in the highlight areas. If I click view, everywhere we see that is dark, does not have contrast, and everywhere that is bright has contrast. This is the opposite of what I want, so I'm going to click invert. And now I have uh, what kind of looks like this, you know, photo negative view of the scene. I'll turn off the mask view, and we can see now I have a nice contrast pop on these foreground rocks, some in the midground, but the bright clouds are staying nice and soft. So a luminosity mask is a great way to quickly target either shadow areas or highlight areas. Now let's fine tune these sliders just a little bit. I'm really just watching the foreground rock here as I make these changes to, to really bring out all of the, the different levels of details that are in there. That's looking pretty good there. Now we'll move on to color. There's a couple of things I wanna do here. I want to get the greens of this rock to be much more vibrant, and I wanna add an like, orange warm feeling to the photo overall. So let's start with our foreground rock. We'll add a color enhancer. We'll use the foliage style. And I only want this applied to the rock, so I will use my masking tools. I'm going to open up the masking area, and I'll press invert. And that's going to remove the color from everywhere. Now with my masking brush, I'll change the mode to paint in. Let's uh, make my size of my brush a little bit bigger. And now I can just paint in over this area here to get that green in those rocks to come alive. All right, so quick before and after, before and after, and we can see those greens are popping up quite nicely. We might even add a little extra saturation and a little extra vibrance, and it's only affecting the area that we painted. Now to add a nice orange warmth to the entire scene. My preferred way of doing that is using a photo filter. And I'll start with the 85 style here. And this is adding a really nice, clean orange glow to the whole scene. But I want to do some modifications here. I want this to be pretty strong. I'm actually going to change the mode to strong. We'll see it's a lot brighter. It's, it's more uh, like a sunrise. We'll even add the amount and nudge that up just a little bit farther. So that's how you guys, we're going to go pretty bright on this, but I'm going to pull this back and rein it in a bit with some masking because what's happening to this foreground rock, this is becoming you know too, too orange. And this isn't natural, right? This is not facing the sunlight. Sunlight's here. This is not going to have that same level of orange glow. Remember that luminosity mask we used with dynamic contrast? We're going to use the same thing here. Open up the masking area. I'll press lumen. And I don't have to invert. This is normal. This makes sense for this scene where I'm removing the effect from the shadows. But I need to do some tailoring on it. It's a, a little bit too much removal everywhere else. So if I view the mask, and I can work with the levels and the window slider to fine tune this, where I really just want that 
this uh, photo filter not to be applied to these rocks and mostly everywhere else in the scene. So I just like to work visually and I'll just start working with these different sliders and changing how they appear. And let's see, I want to make sure I keep the nice dark areas on the rocks nice and dark. And so start to start to fiddle with these just a little bit. Let's try right around, right around there where I'm really targeting just these rocks. Maybe just nudge that a bit more so this part here. And actually we can always clean it up with the masking brush. We can, whoops, let me switch my mode on that. Undo the X key, we'll change it to paint out. And then I can remove any little bits that are, that are left on that rock there. I'll turn back off the mask view. And now before and after, a very different look. It's got a, it's still a nice uh, gradual fade in the different areas because we are seeing this slight bits of gray here. All of that is getting light touches or light removals, depending on how much gray there is of that photo filter. That's a really nice way to completely change the mood of this photo. A final touch would be to pull down the exposure on the sky. So I'll use a local adjustment for that. I'll use a gradient. We'll rotate this and kind of position it so it's just above this foreground rock. Now that's too dark. Let's bring that back up some. And let's explore the temperature slider, just cooling the top of that sky a little bit. That's adding a little more richness in those blues there before and after. I think that's a nice result. So here's the before and after. Before, a well-composed scene, very pretty in its own right, but lacking a little bit of color and uh, certainly missing some of the shadow details here. To after, opened up those shadows, did our basic exposures, but then really had fun with color, bringing out the greens and these mosses and adding a nice orange warmth to the scene overall. The luminosity masks really played a role in that. Don't shy away from using them. Just work visually, turn on the mask view, and think about what areas of your photo you want affected by one of those filters. A photo filter plus a luminosity mask can create some very, very pleasing results. My name is Scott Davenport. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.